so I decided that I was going to start back this whole vlogging process again. And I have a few videos that I think I'm going to work on. They're less of me and just mm -hmm. different... Um, mm -hmm. It's just different videos that I've shot over a length of time. Some of them are not even from 2023. Some of them are from 2022. I'm not going to go further back than that. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to use and see how much footage I have that can be used. Um, but one thing that I'm trying to do is I'm watching different vloggers and to see what they have, what they're doing, how their setup is. And I'm going to try a few things that are different for me. I don't like this, being in front of the camera and speaking directly to you and all that type of stuff. It's not my cup of tea, it's not my comfort zone, but what I'm learning is that if I want to take this and do some things with it, I gotta get out of my comfort zone. So this is me out of my comfort zone, okay? Talking to the camera and just showing a bit of what I do, and then I'll throw in the other stuff with it also, but I'll pop in from time to time. I'll try to do a bit more talking to the camera as well. So right now, tonight, I am editing a video for my husband well my husband is editing a video for me and I'm helping him because he's out um, so I'm just kind of like making marks in a video um, of an interview that I did with Ms. Dominique Hodge you guys definitely look out for that sit sip and chat is coming if it's not out already by the time this video is out um, so I figured I'd just do a little short monologue here and maybe capture a bit of um, capture some footage of me doing a bit of editing it's now quarter to 11 at night I've had some guava berry because it's tomorrow's the last day of August so my birthday celebration is rounding off and I remembered I had guava berry in my fridge if you know you know so I decided to have some of that and now I'm sleepy because I'm a lightweight um, but I wanted to do this because if I get this done, then he's one step closer to finishing edits for me so then I can get this video out to you guys. So then it's going to be a whole thing and I'm, so I'm trying to help the process and get my editing skills up because I've been lapsing for a minute and I'm trying to get back into it. So I figured why not fight the sleep, <laughs> fight the sleep that is here right now and just get it done. So this is me getting it done. Finish this editing. Um, and now I am going to take a shower and go to bed because my eyes want to rest. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Good day, my people. And welcome to Sit, Sip and Chat. A show aimed at showing off the Saint Martin professionals and some cool location to socialize in. Now, let's continue the journey. So you guys should have seen the promo video just now. And now, I am walking to my car. I just came from the karaoke night at my dad's bar. I sex some crazy bar. I sex some crazy beach bar if you happen to be in Saint Martin. And now I'm walking to my car meet my mom and head it home check out the scene at the bar
Kokomoos is celebrating five years. Five years, Kokomoos Concepts, and it's basically, what did she say? She's sharing the heart of different cultures. Don't quote me on her tagline, but she's celebrating five years of doing what she does, which is having amazing, um, I'm trying to find stuff in my bag. Having pretty cool products. So she makes earrings, which are a pair that I'm wearing right now. She makes bags, the bag that I walked with today. She has um, tote bags. Uh, what is this? Like a makeup bag. She has wallets, umbrellas, um, candles. She has a whole heap of stuff. And yeah, she's celebrating five years. And I was invited to that celebration. And I'm running a bit behind time because children and because I am tired. But I wanted to come out and celebrate with her. So we're gonna go and see how that night goes. <laughs> gonna insert myself right there because then afterwards after she finished making her speech um, she let me know that I was the first person to repost one of her posts so when she just started out and had her social media page I was the first person or one of the first people but I think it was I was the first person that shared one of her posts and it was a pretty big deal for her and that that got me that invite to the celebration which i'm very much grateful for and one thing she made sure to let me know is that i am making a bigger impact in people's lives that i know and i was just like oh okay so i feel like either i don't think i've been doubting myself because i'm i've been trying to go very hard and consistent and get this shit done and do the things but you know, just like a reminder, another reminder that it doesn't always show. You don't always feel it. You don't always see it. But people are taking notice of what you do. The work continues because people are taking notice of what you do and they're appreciative of it. And you might not see it, but it's there. And yeah, that, that felt pretty good. Okay, back to the rest of the speech. 